Hi everybody, today I am going to do for you my favorite fall and winter lipsticks video. thought that I would just go ahead, I have six MAC lipsticks and five drugstore lipsticks here for you guys today to show you. At the very end of the video I will put a bunch of pictures of swatches of these on my lips so you can see what they look like on. Um, and here I'll probably just swatch them for you on my hand. So these are in no particular order, just kind of how they got lined up here on my counter. Um, First one I'm going to show you is, um, I'll do the MAC ones first. It's Velvet Teddy from MAC. Obviously I said I would do the MAC ones. And this is a matte brown. Um, it's a light brown, so it's still wearable for me as, um, you know, light as I am. And you're going to see I have a lot of brown tones here. Um, this is it swatched on my hand. It's just a really, like, and it's a matte, but it's a really nice texture, actually, for a matte, and I really do love it on my lips. Um, it's just a beautiful brown, and it's really not too dark at all. It, it's, like, the perfect, perfect brown for me. Um, you know, not to, like, look too dark or too brown or anything like that. Next is a luster from MAC, and it's in high tea. This is a beautiful neutral. This is a lot more sheer of a neutrally brown color because it is a luster. Um, it is, it's so gorgeous. This is like the perfect, this is my perfect My Lips But Better color. Um, it's not too dark, not too light. It's the perfect nude for me. Absolutely My lip, Lips But Better color. You can see it right there. Definitely not as brown as Velvet Teddy. It is this um, neutrally beige color with gold, it has like a gold sheen in it. So it just, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful on the lips, and it is my perfect My Lips But Better color. And it is pretty pigmented for luster, because luster sometimes can be not pigmented at all, but it is pretty pigmented, so it's good. Next, um, I have a really dark, deep color, and this is perfect for the winter. Um, this is a not an everyday color. This is definitely a nighttime, special event, dramatic color, but I love it so much. I think this is limited edition from MAC. Not too sure. But, um, they have similar colors out, um, I'm pretty sure. And this is a matte, I just got all over me, and it's Deep Love. Look at that. That probably looks so scary. Um, I have the swatch at the end so you can see what it looks like, but it's actually not so scary on. Um, again, the texture of this is really nice. It's super pigmented, and that's it on my hand. It is a plum, a very, very, very deep brown plum. I love this color. It is so dramatic. Like, obviously, I'm wearing a dramatic lip, red lip right now, and I'll tell you what color that is. Um, but this, if you want, like, a really deep, vampy look, this is my favorite vampy lip. Um, so I really, really love that if I need something super, um, you know, dramatic and just feeling vampy for the winter. This one is my go-to nude if I am wearing peachy tones, if I'm feeling more peachy that day instead of, like, because most days I'll just wear high tea, which is my, you know, go-to neutral, but this is my go-to peachy neutral if I feel like, um, I just really want a nice peachy neutral, and this is, um, a cream sheen and a shy girl from MAC, um, and I love the cream sheen formula. Again, really pigmented. You can see it's more peachy here and definitely more creamy and pigmented because it is a cream sheen than a high tea. Um, so if I'm feeling just a little more like I want a peachier color on the lips and not such just a neutral color, I'll go for Shy Girl instead of high tea, just depending on my mood for that day. Uh, next color is a really, really nice plum. It's like a berry, it's kind of a berry tone plum, actually, and this is Captive from MAC. Um, this is definitely a deeper color, um, not so completely deep like Deep Love, but it's a beautiful, um, beautiful color. This is it up top here. As you can see, it's a really nice, just plummy berry color. And then the last MAC shade that I'm going to show you is what I'm wearing on my lips right now, and it's a red. You need a red for the winter, especially the holiday times. You know, everybody has that favorite red lip, and um, this is my favorite winter um, red lip. I have like a brighter one that I would wear in the summer, but this is um, an amplified. Of course, you need an amplified when you're wearing reds. I just, 
uh, my favorite formula for reds is Max Amplified, and this is Tassel. I think this was a limited edition years ago from MAC, but it's a neutral red, meaning it doesn't have strong blue undertones and it doesn't have strong orange undertones. It's the perfect neutral red, and I love neutral reds on me. Um, they just, I think, look the best on my skin tone. So this is amazing. This is actually a dupe for Max Liza Red, which came out with the Liza Minnelli collection, like, whoa, like 10 years ago or something like that. I do have two tubes of Liza Red in, um, in addition to this, and I think that Tassel was actually like a re-promote of Liza Red, just named something differently. Um, but I love, love, love this color. So just go, if you, uh, let me swatch it for you. It's on my lips, but I'll swatch it on my hands. Um, there it is. So gorgeous. Perfect, perfect red for me. I absolutely love it. So I have like three of these because I have two of the Liza Red and one of the Tassel. Um, you might be able to still find Tassel on eBay or something if you really look. But just um, any, you know, that's just my red. Um, if you want to go for a neutrally toned red, definitely try out Revlon. Revlon, I don't have any Revlon reds here to show you today, but um, try out some of Revlon's reds. They have pretty amazing reds and in all different tones. Fire and Ice is a good one, but it's more orangey toned. Um, try Cherries in the Snow, I think is more of a neutral red, so maybe you want to try that if you want to go for a drugstore um, alternative, but check out some of Revlon, Revlon's red lipsticks because they can be pretty fabulous. Um, okay, so let me wipe off my swatches of all my MAC lipsticks here, and I'll move on to the drugstore ones that I have. Um, looking at these, I think they're like all these different versions of the same color. Um, but I'll just get into it. This is definitely the most brown one I have here, and I don't know if it really counts as a lipstick, but it has the texture of a lipstick, so I'm just going to go with it. Um, and it's the NYX Jumbo Lip Pencil and Iced Coffee. This is about as brown as I will go when it comes to a lipstick. Here it is right there. It's definitely browner than Velvet Teddy. Um, these Jumbo Lip Pencils have actually really great pigmentation and great texture on the lips. Um, I This is actually almost sometimes a little too brown for me, so I will wear a lighter gloss over the top. And with a light, um, just kind of like nude gloss over the top, it's a really, really nice look. Um, really, really like chocolatey or coffee brown. It's called iced coffee. Um, next here I have Warm Me Up from Maybelline. And this is a really pretty rosy berry color. Definitely a nice bright, um, rosy, just berry, perfect for the fall and winter, um, right there. Definitely not as, um, this kind of reminds me of Captive from MAC, except Captive is plummy, where, where this is like a rosy berry, and that's like a plummy berry. But they still give that bright berry look to the lips. Um, that is nice for the fall and winter. And then next here I have Creamy Nude from Essence, which is a really pretty nude. Um, this is kind of a mauve nude, but definitely not as mauve as some of the other ones I'm going to show you. It's definitely maybe more beige beige tone, but really nice color. Then I have Ferris Nude from um, L'Oreal, which I am going to swatch right next to Creamy Nude from Essence, and you're going to see that this one's definitely more mauve. So there you go. This is um, a mauve toned nude, where this one is definitely more beige. Uh, okay, so the last lip color I'm going to show you is um, from Wet n Wild, and it's 902C, and it's one of their matte lipsticks. These have really great pigmentation, and this is a brown. This is actually kind of similar to Velvet Teddy. Um, let me see if I can swatch them next to each other. I'm just realizing that right now. Um, if I could find Velvet Teddy, there it is. Oh, wow, that is like completely similar. Okay, so like dupe alert. Um, I swatched these next to each other and they look pretty similar. First let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, this is Wet n Wild 902C, which is a lot like Velvet Teddy. It's just a matte brownie beige. Um, 
and I swatched it just next to Velvet Teddy and they're pretty freaking similar. Uh, this one on top is Velvet Teddy and this one on the bottom is 902C from Wet n Wild. Um, the only difference is maybe Velvet Teddy is a tiny bit more mauve and this is a little bit more brown but on the lips I'm sure they look exactly the same and I just realized that. So um, that's a nice dupe for you there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm really into the beigey and brown and mauve nudes for the winter um, with a couple of berries and uh, brighter and vampy lips uh, kind of mixed in there. But those are just some of my favorites for the fall and winter. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and that this has helped you out maybe a little bit. Um, let me know in the comments below what your favorite fall um, and winter lipsticks are. If I haven't, you know, if you think that you have some that I haven't tried that you think I might like, um, kind of based on what I've shown you here. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and everybody have a really great day.